So hi everybody, we are doing an amazing interview today with the beautiful family from Uganda and we're talking about our new um, children's series called the Sunrise Babies Home Series. Um, so we're going to tell you a little bit of background, we're going to introduce you to Damali um, and then we're going to talk about the book and um, the launch and drum up a lot of interest because we want to help lots of babies. So hi Damali, how are you going? I'm doing good. Hi, Kathy. It's very good to see you. And thank you so much for everything you're doing to be able to help the babies in Uganda. <laughs> My pleasure. So, um, mm -hmm. just obviously, the first book in the series is based on your life. So, it's a children's story mm -hmm. but based on your real experience. So, do you want to tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about that? Um, about my life? Mm. Yeah, um, so um, I grew up uh, in, a, in a small village in Wakisi, and as I was growing up, I lost both my parents to mm -hmm. HIV and AIDS, yeah. and I was left, it was me and my siblings, um, it was me, my siblings, and my cousin, because our uncle had also passed away. Mm -hmm. So it was really a huge struggle for our old grandmother to be able to take care of all 10 of us. Yeah. And most people in Uganda depend on agriculture and like small, small uh, farming. So it was really difficult for her to be able to grow food for us and send us to school. Mm -hmm. So there was an American missionary who came to Uganda and started an orphanage home. And I was very, very blessed to be one of those kids that ended up there. Yeah. It was a good place, a loving place. And uh, I got to receive Jesus Christ, become a Christian at this orphanage home and get a good education, go to university. And uh, as years we are going back, the workers who began the orphanage home left and then the Watiyas took over. And the Watiyas are my parents. They adopted me. Yeah. So I'm really, really, I, I, I was really thankful that so many people, even though I lost my, both my parents, yeah. so many people came up and sponsored me to be able to have an education, to grow up and be uh, a, 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 sit, a, good, uh, a citizen that can contribute to my country. Mm -hmm. And as I, was, uh, as I finished university, I saw that a lot of babies, uh, a lot of babies were dying as soon as their moms passed away. Mm -hmm. We have a huge problem in Uganda where women uh, pass away from childbirth. Right. So when, we, when women pass away from childbirth, the kids have no one sometimes to take care of them because there's no milk for them. So uh, when there's no milk, they become, they starve. And most of them would starve to death. So a mother dies a month or two weeks later, the baby also dies. Mm -hmm. So it really hurt my heart to see so many babies dying. And yeah. I said, I must do something. So that's how I began the Sunrise Baby Home, mm -hmm. where we've been able to rescue 300 and now 52 babies uh, who have been, who would otherwise have starved to death, who yeah. have no one. Some of them are from abandoned. They are from the hospitals, from the police, from our communities. So these babies have a chance at life. And I want to give them an opportunity of, you know, being able to go to school, being able to, be, to live, being able to be reunited with someone who can care for them, mm -hmm. all given back into our community. So that's what Sunrise Baby Home is about, is saving yeah. lives. Yeah, yes. absolutely. And, and the, the yeah. story of how you started Sunrise is really quite remarkable because wasn't it that you actually said to your community, I'm, I've decided to start a, an orphanage mm -hmm. and then what happened the next day? <laughs> um, well, when I, when I told like some uh, pastors, religious leaders in our community, I told them um, I've, be, I've opened up a baby home and if any baby needs help, just the very next day, and one pastor called me and he's like, I'm bringing you some twins. And I said, okay, you can bring them. And just the place was filling up really quickly. But yeah. the next day when he brought the twins, he said two, he's, he's bringing two babies, twins. Yeah. Yeah. So he showed up and he had a bunch of clothes. Yeah. And I was like, where, where is the baby? Where is the, where's the other baby? He's like, oh, the baby's in there. And I'm like, are they two? Because it was really a small uh, folded clothes. Yeah. And then when I opened, it was one baby. And this was the most starving, malnourished baby wow. I'd ever seen. Wow. I was like, oh my goodness, God, what am I going to do? I don't yeah. think this baby is going to survive. Yeah. So we fed him. We would, we would be like, we would be really anxious and worried, thinking, I don't think he will make it another day and another day. Mm -hmm. But 
for sure, after two months, the baby was chubby and healthy oh, oh, and doing really well. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's uh, the story of how I began the baby home. And yeah. over the years, so many people have been able to join and help us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's amazing. amazing. Yeah. You've got a great team there, from what I can see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I, I'm blessed with amazing, amazing women who love their kids. And most of the people I work with also grew up in the orphanage home where yeah. I grew up in. So they really, this is really personal to all of us. Beautiful. What we are doing is really personal. We want to give back. We want to be able to help these kids, to empower them, to be able to, pre, to, 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 to produce a cities that will contribute to our country. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. And so, yeah. with the, um, obviously, we spoke and we've cried mm -hmm. many times. So, don't even get me started yeah. today because I'm on yeah. camera. So, yeah. that's enough. But, yeah. Um, yeah. We spoke and um, your story really moved me. And I just felt a, a big urge to do something. Um, and mm -hmm. so, obviously, we started this um, the Sunrise Babies Home book series, which is really exciting. Mm -hmm. Um, so can you explain mm -hmm. to people, obviously 100% of all of the book sales goes directly to you, directly to the babies. So can you explain yes, thank you. people who are thinking about buying the book, can you explain what mm -hmm. sort of impact that's going to have? Um, so uh, one of our biggest challenges is uh, each month we really struggle to be able to make the budget, which is so difficult because our formula is really expensive, diapers are expensive. And since we live in Uganda, the infections, I, I incur a lot of medical bills. Mm -hmm. And even right now, as I speak, each month, I'm not able to make the budget, which mm -hmm. is really difficult because like, I'm like having, sometimes I'm like, okay, when I sit down and I see how much money has come in, I'm like, okay, first we buy the formula mm -hmm. and then next we buy the food. And then yeah. I must pay, I must pay the workers and pay the water bills. And sometimes I have to be like, okay, maybe we will just cut off some of the other things maybe we, let's cut out this and this and maybe some of the very important things i can be like okay this time maybe we can cut out the fish and bananas and this and this and it's so difficult for me like to be able to 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 see that uh, i cannot be able to to manage month to month yeah. and it's hard to get people to commit to give like monthly yeah. so that has been one of the biggest challenges even right now yeah. so if we could get this book if people could buy this book, this is an income uh, yeah. that will at least every month. We know that if someone buys a book, we can be able to get something for the kids to be able to feed, to be able to buy for these kids. Because yeah. like a few cups of formula, just for a few cups of formula, a child is dying every day in mm. Uganda. And this should not be happening if we can all do something. Yeah. So this is why I'm excited about this book so that we can be able to have something self-sustaining. And this yeah. is such a good idea. So, yeah. So if you could please, please buy the book. You know that when you buy a book, a few cups of milk uh, are available now for starving babies or babies who have no one at all. So please, please do buy the book so that you can feed a few babies. And I think, you know, there's so many things out there, so many people for asking for things. But often I found that, you know, you give to charity and then you find out, oh, the money hasn't mm -hmm. gone where I thought it was going to go, you know? Mm -hmm. And I feel that this is an opportunity for someone who really wants to make an, an impact, a direct mm -hmm. impact to, to a community yes. of babies. They know mm -hmm. that buying this book is going to go 100% mm -hmm. to those babies. So it's a beautiful way mm -hmm. for somebody to feel that they're contributing, supporting, and, and actually saving lives. Yes, yes. And this is a real place and... Uh, it, I want I want you to one day come. I want people to come and actually visit and see it. It's a real place. It's very very close to my heart because yeah. if it wasn't for someone out there to give something, I wouldn't be here today. I probably would have been, you know, out in the village being a mother to you know uh, kids. I can't even support. They're not going to school. Probably maybe sick as well or dead by now. But because someone was able to help me i want to help these other children as well that yeah. is my goal is to be able to help them get them healthy get them you know be able to be like contribute to our country to our society there's yeah. no reason why they should be dying because they can't uh, because there is no food like a few cups of milk several tins and the baby is chubby and running and walking around and playing 
Yeah. And I believe we can all do something. And yeah. Yeah. So you yeah. have a Facebook page, Damali, haven't you? For people to go over and have a look and support you. So what's <laughs> yes. Your yeah. Page? It's Sunrise Baby Home. And we also have a website, uh, sunriseministriesinc.org. You can check out the stories of the kids. You can, you can help out in different ways. Yeah, so. Yeah. Okay. But like our biggest, right now, our biggest challenge, like I said, is monthly costs. Yeah. It's a huge, huge challenge right now. Like even this last month, we were not able to make the monthly budget. So mm-hmm. it's really, really a huge need right now for us. And it's a huge struggle. So if you can do something, you can buy this book, share with others, get as many people to buy the book, get the word out. That's mm. one way of helping to feed babies and actually save lives. Absolutely. And we, we have got a launch group. Um, so I will put the link to the launch group underneath this video. So if people want to join mm. the launch group, we're aiming for a Mother's Day launch because Damily is mother to yes. so many children. We thought that would be Thank a beautiful, you. beautiful time to, to launch it. Um, and you know, mm-hmm. jump on Damily's page um, for the Sunrise Babies Home. It's S O N R I S E, Sunrise Babies Home. Um, you mm-hmm. can jump on my page as well, Kathy Domini, and I'll put all the details up there. And uh, yeah, we'll be we'll be talking again because this is the first of many books, I think. So yeah, we'll. we'll get oh, thank you. Around. So thank you so mm-hmm. much for taking the time to talk to me today. And uh, mm-hmm. we'll be talking again soon, and get ready to launch our book. Oh, thank you so much, Kathy, for everything you've done. I know you've worked so, so hard on this book just because of your love for the kids. And I'm really, really grateful. So babies who have been abandoned, left in the hospitals at police, can now, will now have a cup of milk or two and caretakers and medical. So please, please get the word out. And thank you, Kathy. You're <laughs> welcome. Okay, thank you so much for meeting me today. And I'll speak uh, to you. Bye. All right, bye. <laughs>